Hello, hello. This is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be giving an example about the bypass factor and how to obtain the CFM. All right, so let's get into it. So to begin with the bypass factor, as we explained in the other video, is how efficient is the coil, but actually that efficiency is the contact factor. And the contact factor is one minus the bypass factor. So the bypass factor mean like it is an imperfection or inefficiency of the coil, okay? So, but let's put that into simple words. So what we have in this example is a five ton air handler unit and the temperature readings are temperature of the return side right here and temperature of the supply side right here. So this is return, this is supply, and this is the ADP. The ADP is the apparatus dew point, which is pretty much the temperature of the coil, all right? So what we have in here is the following. So we're gonna call this, this is going to be the ADP. And as we saw in the other video, we call this ADP with a different variable. We're gonna put that in red. So ADP for us is going to be temperature three, three, okay? Now we're gonna put in here temperature of the return site, we have in here temperature of the return and then we have temperature of the supply side supply side temperature of the supply side okay so in here we have temperature of the supply 61 degrees fahrenheit and then temperature of the return side 81 degrees fahrenheit and for our convention for our symbology for our variables temperature of the supply side on the other video we wrote that as temperature number two and then temperature in the return side is going to be temperature number one temperature number one okay so it's important to know this convention because the formula is related to these variables and as you may understand that it's easy to obtain temperature readings in the coil so that's what we usually do when we're technicians we go to the coil and we check the temperature on the return side we put a thermometer there we put a thermometer there and we get the readings it's very easy to obtain those okay so now what's the formula to calculate the bypass factor so the formula is going to be the following but number one, before knowing the formula, we need to know if we're, are we cooling or we're heating? This is actually for cooling. Why? Because the air is entering at 81 degrees Fahrenheit and is exiting at 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So in other words, this is cooling. So in other words, for cooling, we, we put in here for cooling, the bypass factor equals the following. Bypass factor is going to be equal to the formula. Temperature two minus the, let's put this in green because this is very important, the ADP apparatus dew point, which is pretty much the temperature of the coil, T3. That's divided by the other one. We have in here temperature one minus the apparatus dew point, which is in green. Temperature three. Okay, so you can call it whatever. You can put temperature one, temperature two, or one and two and three, as long as they are very consistent. So in other words, this is ADP. So this is ADP, ADP. This is temperature two is uh, supply and this is return, okay? So if we're going to, and as I was saying, the bypass factor is kind of an inefficiency of the coil is how imperfect is the coil or how much air is passing through around the coil okay so how much is the bypass factor the bypass factor is we're going to plug in the numbers and that's going to be equal to the following okay so bypass factor equals to temperature 2 equals to 61 61 degrees minus the apparatus dew point i'm going to man maintain the convention or the color convention so temperature 3 equals uh actually we didn't put that in here so the adp equals according to what we have in here 55 degrees which is pretty much the temperature of the coil average okay temperature of the coil 55 so in the formula it's going to be 61 minus the apparatus dew point which is 55 and that's going to be equal or divided by the o divided by the temperature one and temperature one is 81 and minus apparatus dew point and the apparatus dew point is 55 there we go Okay, so now what we're going to have 
as a result is going to be the bypass factor equals to the following. So now we're doing the calculations and I obtain a number of 0 0.23. Okay, so 0 0.23 is in decimal, but if we want to uh, express this uh, as a percentage, that's going to be 23 percent. Okay, so what does that mean? So that means that 20% of the air is passing around the coil. It's not going inside the coil, it's going around the coil. So that's going to be bypass factor. Uh, air goes around the coil. Around the coil. And how much air? Is 23% of that air. So if we have the bypass factor, now we're able to calculate the contact factor. So the contact factor is going to, going to be the super one minus the bypass factor. And as you remember in the previous video, we explained that the contact factor is actually the coil efficiency. Coil efficiency. And the coil efficiency is denoted also sometimes by the Greek letter eta. Efficiency. Efficiency coil efficiency. So, you know, since we're calculating this, let's just calculate this. 1 minus bypass factor, which is 0 0.23, and that gives us a number of contact factor 0. Point, um, if we do the math, 77, right? So in other words, that's going to be 77 percent. So the coil itself, so that, that's why it's so important. So Let's put this in pink. Bypass factor is 23%, which means 23% of the air goes around the coil and the rest, which is 77%, goes within the coil. So that's why it's 77% efficient, this coil, okay? So now that's the bypass factor, that's the contact factor, and this is the, this is the apparatus dew point. And now what we're going to calculate is the CFM. And then for the CFM, we have a five ton unit. Okay, so I'm gonna put in here a calculation of the CFM. Okay, so calculating, calculate the CFM. So the CFM is actually based on the rule of thumb, which is five ton unit. If it's a five ton unit, the rule of thumb indicates that every ton 400 CFM but that rule of thumb depends on also on the location sometimes it's 350 sometimes it's 450 CFM but overall and an average is 400 CFM rule of thumb so if we have a five ton unit this is going to deliver 2000 CFM 2000 CFM okay so what is that 2000 CFM, is it like return? Is it supply or what's going on? So what happens is that we have entered, so we're entering with 2000 CFM. So I'm gonna put that in pink in here. So what it's entering here, like in pink, it's going to be 2000 CFM. There we go. From the 2000 CFM, we have 70%, 77% going in the, to the coil and 23% of that going to around. So in other words, we're going to obtain the 23% and we're gonna obtain the 77%. And if we do the calculation, we're gonna obtain the following. The 23% of 2000 is going to be 450, 460 CFM. The 77% of 2000 is going to be 1560 CFM. Okay? So there we go again. This is the bypass factor and this is the contact factor or efficiency. And this is the total CFM. Okay? So what we have in here then. 2000 goes inside, we have 50, uh, 1560 and around, it's bypassing 460 CFM. 460 CFM. Okay, so 
now that we have the CFM, we have the bypass factor, cooling factor, and we are calculating the CFM, we have the coil efficiency, and we obtained all the variables to understand better the, uh, the coil, all right? So one last thing to mention is, um, I'm gonna put this as a rectangle in a, I'm gonna box this because this is the formula pretty much. And then the formula, see, the formula is pretty much for cooling and it's very important to know if it's cooling or heating. And um, the temperature two and the temperature one are the only va uh, variables that you the variables that you need to know. In this case, temperature temperature two is the supply temperature. See, and here we're putting supply. And then temperature one is going to be the return. So in order to obtain all this information, you only need the supply return. Well, the ADP could be assumed that is the coil at 55 degrees Fahrenheit or say 50 or something around that. that. So that's gonna be temperature three and this is the apparatus dew point, okay? Okay, so the main reason of this video is to reinforce or to understand better the other video that I did, which was related to the uh, coil efficiency bypass factor and apparatus dew point. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit the like button that helps a lot with the algorithm and subscribe. Thank you very much.